Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. I am Martina Lily and today the main feature is the new Glaminatrix Holiday Palette. This is the Fairy Lights Palette. It is so sparkly, so stunning. So we've got swatches and some other new makeup to play with. So hopefully that sounds interesting to you guys. If it does, go ahead and do the YouTube things like subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let's get started. Just quickly, before we zoom in and create the look, we are gonna do the like swatches. We're gonna swipe to swatches of this absolutely incredible palette. I think there's, at the time of filming this, there's about a hundred palettes left in stock and then I think this one is done. So if you wanna grab it, definitely like think about picking it up soon if it's something that's a must have for you. Now, I've also done swatch comparisons against, <laughs> I'm going to hold them all up here, their Glimmering Creatures Volume 1 and Volume 2 um, single sets or bundles that they've recently released. So there'll be comparisons of that as well as a comparison against the Urban Decay Moon Dust palette. But just quickly, like my initial thoughts, this like Fairy Lights palette from Glaminatrix is like another level <laughs> it's like another level of also sorry i do also need to say like it is the weekend here and my neighbors are like renovating and stuff so if you can hear like power drills and stuff i'm really sorry i'm trying to like do it in between but the show's gonna go on today as i was saying this is like a whole other level of like i don't know if i would have called this the fairy lights palette i mean i guess i get why they did but i would have called this like the liquid molten palette almost like you'll see in the swatches these are just like straight up they're almost like a cream feeling shadow to touch and they're just like straight up liquid metallic molten and they are impeccable but what i will say is from when i was looking in the monitor I don't think these pick up on camera well at all. Not just saying that like truly, I even tried to do like the sparkle thing with the low lighting and that, but I just, you have to see these in person to really understand the intense beauty of them, I think. Comparing it to the Urban Decay, I would say like, one, they're not, these are not comparable shade wise and you'll see that in the swatches. They're very, very different shade wise. And formula wise, I would say these are more of like a, more of like a suspended or a metallic formula with like a transparent base to them. They're nowhere near as like intense. When you see the swatches, you'll see like this one right here from Glaminatrix. It's like a really opaque molten metallic type formula. Whereas these are more of like a, like if this is too much for you, you'll probably like the Urban Decay. The Urban Decay is, is like a fairy dust. With the Glimmering Creatures singles, so that's this, these like singles I'll put, picture right here of the bundles. I've already done a video on one of the bundles. I haven't had time to do the Glimmering Creatures Volume 2 bundle. I will, I will at some point. It's like these shadows are like another level above the Glimmering Creatures. It's insane. Really, like these are more of like a foiled creamy formula than the Glimmering Creatures. The gl Glimmering Creatures are a little bit more sparkly and like they have a little bit more fairy dusting to them. So we'll see how it performs on the lids but that's kind of like my initial thoughts of the comp comparisons between them because I know you guys wanted to like hear my thoughts between those kinds of shadows. So uh, let's swipe into swatches. There will be timestamps for the swatches and then when the look starts and then everything will be linked in the description box down below for you guys. They are affiliate links so if you shop through them, Thank you so much. I do have a 10% off code with Glaminatrix Cosmetics as well. That will be in the description box because I don't know one off the top of my head. I think it's Martina Lily. Let's get into it.
I mean, how stunning are the swatches of this? Like, oh, oh. Who, who picked this up, by the way? Because I know, I know a heap of you did. Let me know in the comments if you picked it up and if you've received it yet. I'm going to use my Danessa Myricks Define Neutrals palette in conjunction with this one today. So the first one I'm going to go into is, I'm actually going to mix a little bit of the chiseled pomade with the, what's this one, stone pomade. And this is my Refa 33. And the great thing about this palette is like you really can just mix all the shades as well to create like your perfect kind of tone that you're looking for. You don't have to just stick to, you know, the one like what the one color is. I'm gonna start by buffing this through the crease here. And um, a lot of you guys have said that you want more glam look, glam looks for the holiday season. So let's go glam, let's do it. I'm actually going to now go into the black pomade with a triple three angled brush from LH Cosmetics. And I'm going to do a little wing or attempt to do a little wing. I'm just going to switch to a Sigma E06, which is a teeny tiny little angled brush for the actual wing part right here. And then it doesn't have to be perfect to begin with. I just want to kind of like map it out. We're actually going to leave it there and we will finesse it, you know, a little bit more. Now I'm going to pick up a refer 14 and I'm going to go into this one right here, which is sculpted. And I'm just going to deepen softly the outer corner here. And then I'm just going to pick up that Refa 33 with like no extra color and blend that out. And you obviously do not have to have this particular palette, you guys. You can do this with like any of your your pa your palettes at all, honestly. I'm gonna pick up this mini Refa 14, which is one of Refa's new brushes, and I'm gonna go into Bark, which is the darker brown. And I'm still just using the pomades. I really like the pomades, you guys. They're kind of my faves in this palette, personally. And then as you're seeing me use the Refa 13, uh, the Refa 33, sorry, this one, um, I'm, I've not got any extra color in it. I'm just using it, using it to like soften the edges and blend um, the shadows a little bit. I'm just taking a Delium Tools 783 brush and I'm gonna go into Sandstone now, which you can use, see how much I use Sandstone? I use it a lot. I use it a lot for like tidying my brows up and stuff like that, but also for this. So what I'll do is I've gone a little bit dark in here for my liking. I like to lighten this area up just because of me hooded always. So I'll just take this shade in here and use that to kind of soften the edges and brighten this up a little bit in here. Let's leave it there and take our Pat McGrath Labs Intensify Stick. I'm just gonna pick it up on a flat brush and I'm just gonna lay it down where I wanna put the metallic. I think first what I'll do is go into Presence, which is this one right here with a refer two. These may work better with a finger though. We'll just see. So I'm just gonna press. Oh, look how, that's impressive. Look at that, wow. Whoa, that's cool. What I might do is just try with my finger and see. Oh yeah, so if you want it like that proper opaque liquid molten, then apply it with your, your finger for sure. So cool. Go 
gosh almighty that is stunning holy dooly that is stunning okay now what i want to do is i have to take cracker but i just want to see if i can like pick up a little bit of the hologram flakes because it's like a hologram type shade and i just want to see if i can like add a shift I'm not sure if I'm adding a shift, but I am making it look more intensely like metallic and like molten, which I'm not mad at. Wow. Laminatrix, I'm telling you, do not sleep on this brand. They keep upping their quality. Every palette, it's just insane. They are impeccable, honestly. They're such an underrated brand. Don't sleep on them, friends. Promise you. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit of Sculpted now on the Refa 14 Mini. And I'm just going to start with that and then marry out the uh, corners. Also, if I already have a lot of glitter on my face, I did all of the swatching beforehand and I had, you should have seen my arm, it was like covered from head, like fingertip to like elbow in glitter. So, you know, glitter is hard to get off. I actually don't have that much fallout, honestly, on my face from the actual application, which is nice. I'm just taking the same brush and I'm just going to use a little bit of the, the Bark Powder Matte just to set it just a little bit on that outer corner. Not a lot. And then going back in with that LH Cosmetics angle brush, I'm now just going to retrace the wing. I'm using the pomade. And then just to make the edges a little bit sharp, I just took the makeup wipe and like sharpened them a little bit, you know, but you don't have to do that. I'm actually just going to take this Refa 3 and go into the matte black and just like set and smoke out the wing a touch. And notice that I've left the inner corner of my eye free of the wing. Let's go ahead and leave the eyes here for now. We might finesse them a little bit more, but let's just leave them here for now and let's move on to our base. I don't know if I ever told you, but I did prime with my NARS eye primer, if you're wondering, <laughs> before I put the eyeshadow on. Okay, let's take my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I'm just trying to finish this up by the end of the year. And I'm going to take it on a Rare Beauty foundation brush. I'm actually testing this Kaja color corrector in the shade Peach because I do, in exciting news, not this video at all, this is not sponsored in any way, um, but Stylevana actually reached out to me and asked if I wanted to do like a sponsored video with them um, because I've shopped with them for years now. And I really, like, that's where I buy my Kaja products from before when I've got them, my skincare, like my Purito and Cosrx and all that. And they reached out to do a sponsored video and they sent me, like, a full face of makeup to try. And I got to pick most of it, which was awesome. Um, so I'm testing it for that video, which is coming, I think, on, like, the 19th of November. FYI, but it's pretty exciting. Like, it's really cool to get asked, like, by brands that, or, like, shops that you've, like, shopped at four years genuinely and then they reach out and they're like oh can we sponsor you it's like oh my god i shop at you and then i'm gonna take my tarte color corrector in green i've really been liking this i definitely put way too much product on them but that's okay <laughs> i'm just gonna blend it out with that rare beauty brush I'm going to see the Marvels tonight at the movies and I am very excited. Has anyone seen it and what do you think? Because I am super pumped. I love a Marvel movie. I really do. I just love zoning out and watching something that's not serious and, you know, forgetting the world for a minute. Also, I put my Christmas tree up this week. I'm so excited. I need to decorate my background as well with some Christmas stuff, but yeah, I'm very, I'm in the, I'm in the holiday spirit. It, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Foundation. I use this a bit in my Odin's Eye Holiday Palette look in the speed through of those looks. This is the Burberry Beyond Wear Perfecting Matte Foundation. It's a new one from them. I've got the shade 30 Light Neutral. It's a perfect shade match. I'm going to take my Juno & Co 
cloud sponge. By the way, I love this Juno & Co sponge that much. I went on to Mecca and bought another four. They're on their way. Yeah, because it is glorious. One of the best sponges I've ever used, hands down. Anyway, this is the Burberry foundation and I love this. I don't think you'll like it if uh, you have dry skin or like really dry skin, skin sorry. I think if you have normal skin up, you'll, you'll find it fine. Um, I just love it. It is so perfecting on the skin. Like it really, really is. And it is so, so lightweight. Definitely a matte finish. Don't get me wrong. Like it is a proper matte finish, but it's such a thin foundation, uh, medium to full coverage, depending on how much you put on, but it wears gorgeously. Like it wears so beautifully throughout the day. It just like warms up to the skin and looks so natural. And yeah, I've really, really been enjoying this one. Sorry, this foundation, it's just been, it's like a filter on the skin. It doesn't settle in fine lines. It doesn't wear away awkwardly. Like it's just, they did something here, Burberry. I wanted to try the new powder that they released, but it has actual coconut in it. So I cannot try that. That will give me acne. As you can see, it's just a really natural foundation. It's just really absolutely beautiful, truly. If you've been eyeing this foundation off, I highly recommend it. I actually picked this up in the 20% off Sephora Australia sale because for some reason we got all of the new Burberry releases in Australia month, like a few like a while ago actually and I'd been meaning I'd been actually waiting for a 20% off sale to pick this up and try it. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this uh, Summer Fridays cherry lip balm on. I haven't tried this one yet. I picked up the Christmas set. Oh my god it smells delightful. The cherry. I really am a cherry lover. I like that it's just like a hint of color, not like overpowering. No, it's... One of the concealers that I'm testing for my Style Vana video is the Kaja concealer. Is that how you say it? Kaja or is it Kaha? I'm not quite sure. Anyway, this is in banana milk and then I'm actually gonna mix it. So I've used this like twice on its own, but I wanna mix it with my Colfi Bad Batum as well today, just to, I like to mix them and see how they all go, you know? This shade um, of the Kaja, I'm just gonna say Kaja and I apologize if I'm pronouncing it incorrectly, is actually really nice. It's a pretty decent match. And so is the Bad Batum from Colfi actually. My skin hasn't been enjoying a brush on my under eyes at the moment. They're a little bit extra dry. So I'm just gonna take the sponge. So layer one of those two mixed together, they look absolutely beautiful together. Absolutely beautiful together. I like these both on their own as well. I was just interested, like this one doesn't quite have enough coverage on its own. So I would mix it, but neither does this one to be fair, but mixed together, they look lovely. Individually though, both of these finishes on their own are impeccable, but I'll talk about this one more after a bit more testing and in that sponsored video. I think I'll actually take my Patrick Ta cream bronzer today. This is in She Sculpted. And I actually like to take this one with my Real Techniques slanted brush. I asked you guys on my community tab the other day what content you wanted to see coming up over the next few months and you guys gave me some great ideas so thank you uh, a big resounding one was the 12 days of palettes i did that last year actually um so i guess we'll do it again this year you really wanted to see that and you wanted to see product rankings and like eyeshadow palette rank uh, eyeshadow brand rankings which was cool so I, i'll do that and a lot of glam looks and a lot of you said a lot of natasha denona you wanted to see so we can also also do that which is exciting okay i take it back i don't like to apply it with um this brush i miss my sonia g brush <laughs> So I'm just going to use the sponge to blend that out. Has anyone heard when Sonia G is doing a restock of her brushes, by the way? There's a few that's been sold out for a while. I do like this cream contour. It's quite nice. I just pouted and I uh, don't think I was recording. I am so sorry. So for under eyes, I actually pressed my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched in Yellow with my Make Translucent. I, have, I am loving this concoction. I need to purchase a new one of these. It's pretty much done. Uh, and... I love it and I wish they would bring out a lighter shade in that. 
And then just lightly dusted all over my face was the Christian Louboutin powder in 10 and Ivory Nude. And I was saying like, because this foundation is quite matte, I don't actually need a lot of powder. Even in the summertime, the foundation really does most of the work for me. So I just give it a light dusting. Now I'm actually just gonna quickly go off camera again and do my brows and then we'll come back and finish the rest. All right, let's actually finish the eyes first. So I'm gonna take my Lisa Eldridge black eyeliner in my top waterline. And then I'm going to take my LH Cosmetics Grage in my lower waterline. With my Bissioto pencil brush, I'm going to go into this one, Chiseled. And I'll just go into the pomade and run that underneath here. I like to use the pomade on my under eyes because then there's definitely no fallout or anything. And I, it's so good. And then I'm just going to take this Ruffer 3 and go into a touch of the black just a really small amount and just kind of connect that outer corner there. For the inner corner, let's go into a touch of this one, I think, which is Carol's. And I'll just pop that in there and like sweep it up just a touch. Mm, that is stunning. I'm sorry, that is stunning. And finishing with my Raban mascara. Eyes are finished and I personally think they look impeccable. Now let's take my Tom Ford Soleil bronzer. This is in the shade Terra and this is my Pat McGrath Labs bronzer brush. Let's give myself a little bit of extra color. Oh, I feel like my, like this is just coming together so flawlessly. Uh, I don't know how that's translating to camera, but in real life, whew. before I actually do blush, I want to do my lips because I might want to take this lip combination off, but I just want to try it. So first I'm going to take Lisa Eldridge, Lisa Eldridge Sorcery Lip Liner. And then I got a new Lisa lipstick. I got the shade Velvet Decade. And this was off the recommendation of Mariam here on YouTube. Why will my, look at that. Oh, absolutely stunning. This gorgeous dark brown, which I've been wanting for quite some time. So I'm gonna try this. And then I might actually just pick up a lip brush because these darker colors can be a little bit intimidating. So this is just a What's Up R11. I feel like that is as good of a lip line as I am gonna get. So we're gonna leave that there. Oh, I feel very fierce in this lip. Okay, Miriam, you got me. All right, uh, now I feel like the perfect highlighter is the Raban Metal Shot. I love this stuff, truly. So I just pop it on the back of my hand and then pick it up with my sponge. And then, because this is a very glam look, let's. You know, go there a little bit with the high. Ooh, stop it. You better stop because that is amazing. I am serious. Wowie. Gorgeous. Raban did something with that, I'm telling you. Don't sleep on it. Don't sleep on it, friends. And I'm actually not even going to set it because I just think it's it's doing what it needs to on its own. For blush, I'm actually going to take Fox from Merit because I just think it's perfect, the perfect shade. So I'm just picking it up on an angled A507 and I'm sorry to everyone outside of America because unfortunately you can't get Merit outside of America. Oh. I wanna use it with me sponge actually. Didn't like that brush, that's for sure. There we go. Yeah, it looks much better with a sponge. I need to remember that. And I'll just set it with a teensy bit of the Chanel Fall Blush. 
Setting spray is Charlotte Tilbury. Let me go do hair, jewelry, all that stuff, and we will zoom out and see the finished look. All right, my friends, this is the finished look. What do you guys think? I I am feeling myself. I'm not going to lie. I feel like this is stunning. That Lisa Aldridge lip color is oh, mind-blowing. It's, it's mind-blowing. I absolutely love it. And this palette is mind-blowing as well. If you guys are on the fence, I mean, honestly... If you picked this up, you are going to, I think, really love it. I think this will even look lovely on mature lids. I really do. I just think this is such an impeccable palette. Like, Laminatrix have somehow managed to, like, up the game again. You know I love them. Really, I do. Like, this isn't sponsored. I actually, I purchased this with my, my own money. I was there at 8 o'clock on the dot picking this palette up. Let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think of the look? What do you, did you pick up the palette? Are you thinking of picking up the palette? What about the lip? Everything. Just let me know your thoughts. If you're here watching to this point, you're an absolute legend. Thank you so, so much. I truly appreciate you. And I hope you have the most amazing day, wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next time. Bye.